Nice to meet you. I'm Ty. So how would y'all think a seventh roommate was gonna be? I thought I was gonna be nasty. I thought you were gonna freaking kill us. No. I've had a couple of assault charges. I've been in jail so many times. I had to start hustling at a young age just to take care of myself because nobody else did it. Been in and out of the system. I love being a bad girl and I wanted to define me, but I need a new start in a new town. I don't know why they tried to take me to jail. I thought I was cute enough to try to get out of it. <laughs> I think Lily felt, like, humiliated because of what that dude said to her and then being thrown out of club. You know, she's probably just hurt, you know what I'm saying, by the fact that that dude talked to her like that. So maybe she's, you know, was taking it out on you, you know what I'm saying? So you got to kind of look at it like that. So really, in actuality, y'all need to, you know, not need to, but y'all should try to sit down and talk about it because y'all got to live together. If you came here to get away from drama, you came to the wrong house. <laughs> is crazy. This is drinking a whole bottle of tequila, right? Yeah. I'm getting a kick out of this. You need to sober up, dog. No, yeah, I'm going in there. Now, look her dead in the eye to let her know I was serious. I wasn't going to use force, but I'm serious. Her eyes are going cross-eyed like that. <laughs> Why are you doing that to Carrie? I love Carrie. You love Carrie? <laughs> Did you just say you love Carrie? You just tried to choke the girl. You, you need to you need to sit down and reevaluate your no. thinking. I got a here, dude. You better to the house. Go look at the kitchen, and you got to clean all this up. I don't want Ripsy to leave just because she's Ripsy. I felt like she made a mistake. People are entitled to a mistake. I ain't mad at you, though, but you, uh, you need to go talk to Carrie. You know what I mean? Yeah, and Carrie's so soft-spoken, and she just humiliated her. You took her dignity away. You exactly. know what I'm saying? You embarrass her as a woman. She's a grown-ass woman. How are you gonna talk to a girl like that? You just beat her up last night. Cause yeah. she makes comments all the time. Everybody is gonna make comments. You're she around. She acts like she's better than everybody else. Different personality. The only person she worried about is Carrie. Carrie. You don't deserve to put your hands on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're, right. you're in self-defense. You're right about So regardless of what happened the other night, last night was a new night. You know what I'm saying? Jody was sleeping in her bed. Regardless of what I happened, don't you know what I'm saying? I know you guys have your problems or whatever, but nobody deserves for somebody to put their hands on them. These looks kind of cute. They don't look cheap. No. What's the back look like though? Oh no. Oh, there's like little lizards. There's like selling lizards. What do you do? Oh, this is our new family pet. <laughs> do you have food for him? What do you feed it? We got a new roommate. His name is Versace. <laughs> I just, he's funny. He actually has a great personality. We don't know if he snaps or not. Sarah, what are you doing? Oh, wow. I'd like to give him a tour of the house. Why? Are you going to get in trouble? They're just going to come over. I'm not going to get in trouble. Yeah, you are. They want to head and left? No, I stopped them. She was trying to get until she could see the dude. Did they leave for real? They left us, y'all. She ain't at you? No. Zara said, oh, we're leaving. I, I will leave. go to that club and cuss Zara out in front of her little man just to embarrass her. Oh. Bitch, you don't run this mother <laughs> house. No, f that. They got to turn around, dude. I'm telling you, Todd, they not coming back. Bitch, that doesn't say Zara's limousine on the back. I'm irritated, man. That's what I'm calling. I need to sit down. I'm gonna embarrass that bitch when she get back. <laughs> this bitch ain't about to have me sitting in no house on no Saturday night and I'm all dressed up, ready to go. I got a long talk for Zarek. I got a mouthful for her ass. For real. So why did the limo leave me and Lily? Oh, oh Zara. We talk about this. I, I screamed. I said, hey, they're not supposed to be leaving yet. And then you oh. left. How lame does that sound? Right. Oh, you guys are boring, so I'm gonna go holler at these dudes. Right. Bitch, don't use me as to why you're being a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Zara is a dingbat. She's very freaking dingy. Like, somebody needs to dye her hair blonde for real. Hello? Is anybody home? Zara is very young for her age. Nobody's home. Good. Glad nobody's home. They always say women age faster than men. Zara is just like a little boy. Zara. Come here. 
I'm mad at you, so don't be waving at me. Why is everybody mad at me? You know why everybody's mad at you? Why? Because you were rushing out of the house yesterday, and you left me and Lily here. Yeah, you guys told me to leave. I didn't tell you to leave. She told me to leave. No, I didn't, uh-uh. I didn't tell you to leave, Zara. Zara's not enjoying her birthday, but at the same time, I think she needs to learn a lesson, birthday or not. The only reason why you was rushing to the club is for that boy, but you have other roommates that need that limo, too, so you was wrong for that. I wanted to cuss you out last night. For real. Nervous, man. I'm serious. I was gonna yell at your ass yesterday. You lucky Lily calmed me down. Having been with Juan, my boyfriend, for four years, he's like my best friend. I love him to death, and I don't want to be with nobody else. Even if I get mad at Juan and want to get a number or something, it's so hard for me to follow through with it. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's like hard. You know what I'm saying? Damn, this is hot. I thought you would have been cooled down by now. So now you heard your phone ring. What are you talking about? Like you didn't hear it ring last time. Now all of a sudden you don't want to be bothered with me. I don't mind being bothered with you. I'm just trying to argue. And you're steady trying to argue with me. Because you're acting like you don't want to be bothered, like you're busy. I don't trust my boyfriend when it comes to being faithful. We've never fought this much when we were together. So it's like, it's hard right now because it makes me think that we're going to break up. I accuse him of a lot of things that maybe he's not doing, but there's a lot of things in my heart that I know he is doing. Be honest about it. I that you always try to make it like you're a good man, like you don't be... No, that's I why you no lie. I know you're going to see other women. I know, and I'm not stupid. Look, argument. your woman is going to be gone for four months and you're going to keep your d in your pants? Uh, wrong. <laughs> and you've been known to cheat while I was at the house? Well, just because I'm sitting right here doesn't mean there's somebody right here with me. Put some bass in your voice. You're screaming way too much. I'm not fighting for anybody. I'm just saying, damn, why we got to argue? You ready? <laughs> I don't know how the hell I'm going to walk in this. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's take bets on who falls first. <laughs> I should have just got done getting <laughs> My voice was like, you do not even like women. How are you going to be with women for four months? I swear I'd be around hella gay chicks because them straight chicks in Atlanta be acting shady, man. Just shady. I'm like, come on. Are you? Yes. Like, you know, I'm... No, you heard I said it. What? Are you? What? Who, me? Could you always tell me about that? Are oh, you? yeah. Oh, you what? <laughs> He's so stupid. I didn't know. Ty tells me that she's bisexual. Doesn't surprise me. And that's fine. Every chick is one drink away from it. Oh, oh, yeah. Not me. <laughs> then you must be the only one, because the rest of them are Make the bitches in Atlanta is wild. I can't do nothing with nobody that please wants somebody <laughs> like that. You would be surprised. They got strippers? <laughs> What'd you say? I said, where's the stripper at? I'm running from my real sexuality. You know, I can't see myself walking around with rainbow bracelets and on, you know. But I like women. <laughs> Did I just say that? <laughs> hey. I'm sitting here saying I hope too. Because Negroes can get, they can act the ass, they can get real ignorant. <laughs> I'm mad at Zara because she completely disregarded us. I'm one of those people, if you do something to me, more than likely I'm going to always hold that against you. I'm having a ball at 740. I want Amy to have a good time. I want to show her that we can come to these clubs and you don't have to feel uncomfortable around black people like Zara did. You can't be closed-minded like that. We can go to their clubs and it's only we be the only black people in there. You know what I'm saying? And we still have a good time. We don't sit and complain or say we don't want to go. You know what I'm saying? Let's play pin the tail on the bad girl. Come on, Zara. I was mad at Zara, and then it was just kind of like, I just kind of let it go, because, you know, I don't think Zara's a racist. I just think she's a scared little girl in a big, big world, and she is very, very, very young in the mind to me. I think she's actually a couple fries short of Happy Meal. Zara. What? One day I'm going to put your tape in on the confessional, and I'm going to mimic you. My name is Zara. Here, I'll put your tape in right now, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> My roommates are crackheads. <laughs> I'm the only sober one in the house. <laughs> I don't like Los Angeles. We can't get in the clubs because we're white. <laughs> Where's my limo? I don't want to do this anymore. I'm too cute. I'm going, for this. You're going home. You fake.
I do what I want. I'm a grown ass woman, dog. You're right. I am. I do what I want. Too fake, though. No, that's not fake. I feel like I'm really genuine. So, like, to call me fake was like the biggest mistake that I think anybody can make. If you say that you don't f with somebody after they do something wrong, and then you snap on them, and the next thing you know, you like, <laughs> that wasn't the next thing. That wasn't to me. The that's next fake. Thing. I look at the type of person Zara is. Zara is not somebody who's headstrong. Who I feel she meant it. You know what I'm saying? She just do. You can't. You gotta laugh at the that she do. You can't sit and take it really to part too personal. I'm gonna be heated that you even would come for real. So where do we draw the line between fake and forgiveness? Where? Answer that question. I'll be done. I can't apologize for who I am. I won't. You just got down, flipped off like I was just being a me, rude bitch trying to call you That set it off right there. So somebody must have told you that fake. before and it really no, hits home. No, don't, because I know I'm not fake. I'm nah, I know not to play with you. Whatever. That's what it is. Bitch. That fake thing set me off. It shouldn't, though, because it's going to be some things that you're going to have to correct me about. Maybe I jumped to conclusions. I just heard fake and instantly was like, nah, she coming at me all wrong. I don't like walking around being mad. That make me feel ugly inside, man. We was going to have to argue to get to really, really know each other. That was going to have to happen. For real, you just got to be a woman and talk that up. Talk it out. Don't just let it go. Where's everybody at? Hello, ladies. We're having a house meeting. I don't want to sit in between anybody because it might be cat fight. I have so many mixed feelings about my boyfriend. I don't know what to do. Every little thing he does, I don't trust him. Like, I think he's doing something, you know? I just don't trust him. And then, that, you know, there comes a thing, oh, if you don't trust him, then why are you with him, yeah, you know? Once the loyalty's gone, you don't have anything. I know. I try to stay with Juan because he's helping me financially. Hello? I need to borrow some money. Why do you need some money? I got my felony for forgery. I have to pay back $6,000, including court costs and all that other crap. I don't have no money. Thought you were getting your check on Monday. I got my check. And how much was yours? Five hundred. You told me a different number. Totally different number. It could, I couldn't have told you a total number. Yeah, you number. did. I ain't got no money. How are you trying to play me, dog? That's all you do. Dudes are lame, man. I'm going to turn into a lesbian. Ty. I don't know who is it. I think it's your boyfriend, it's a guy. Tell him I don't want to talk to him. Like, he's, like, really irritating me. Like, I don't have nothing to say to him. Hang up. Just hang up the phone. No, I can't do that. Just hang it up. What, are you going to come beat you up to the phone? <laughs> she don't want to talk right now. I need to try to break from my boyfriend so I can try to make a change and do something different with my life. I can honestly say that I'm not fully a woman yet because there's still things that I'm learning about myself and I think I need to experience. Girl, I had a dream last night that I got kicked off. So then I went home and opened the door and found Juan cheating on me. <laughs> and I jumped up this morning like, damn, I don't want to get kicked off. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's just a sign that I need to be good. Hello? What have you been doing? Why don't you just call my cell phone? Why do I need to call your cell phone? You don't answer it anyway whenever I call, so what's the point? Whatever. You know, you're around, dude. You always do that stupid no, I don't. Yes, you do. I haven't done it all year. You're a liar. I found how many numbers on your bill in my house, and ca I came home in my house, and I was like, what? We weren't even together. You were begging for me back. You had just told me you wanted me to be your wife the day before you f***ed that bitch, but we weren't together? You know, we don't want I'm not even listening to you right now. The phone is away from my ear. Try to make yourself mad about it because of your I'm not listening to you. Because of your trust issues. Because of your trust issues, you don't never your trust issues. I don't trust my boyfriend when it comes to being faithful. And I don't want to put myself through that because I'm torturing myself. We're not getting anywhere. Are we're you going to pay my fine or not? If we're together, yes. If we're not OK, together. we're together. I need my fine paid. Okay. Get a money order. And I need you to send them some money. I think about leaving Juan, but I still owe them all the money. I feel weak. I don't like being weak, you know? As my mother would say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I was taken from my mother when I was 14. Mm -hmm. She was like, really abusive. And me and my little brother got taken from her. And like they kept putting me in all these foster homes, and these group homes. And I just went cuckoo. And I ran away. I started running away. Mm -hmm. So once I ran away from there, it was just a continuous thing. I always ran away. What's made me so bitter is just having to go and be on my own at such a young age. You know, I never had anybody to help me out. I had to face the road by myself. I've literally been on my own since I was 17 years old. I'm a felon. What did you do that was it? When I was 18, I uh, busted a $6,000 check at a bank. 
And it's like the worst thing that probably ever happened to me just because I can't like get a job. And I did two years in school and dropped out because I major in journalism. What newspaper or magazine is gonna give me a job and I'm a felon? They sent me to that correctional facility and I was there for a year and a half. And like I was in there with girls who were like stabbing each other. Did you get into a lot of fights, sir? I was in a group with 18 girls. I had a badass authority problem. Like people don't even know the extent. I don't like confrontations because I will take it to the extreme. Like I just I go over the line, I cross the line. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Oh yeah. Are you Earl? Yep. No, you not. Yes, I am. <laughs> I just stick all on your car. Yeah, take a car wash. Your car wash. Gotta go wash. I gave you a $10 tip. That's I'm cool. I'm sick. He's mad. You, you, I got sick all over his car. You want to go to the hospital? I swear to God. Nobody. Why I've never been drunk like this, man? Don't say nothing else. Thanks for taking care of me, baby. I got into it with your roommate bad last night. Heard. But she was trying to snap. She did. But it's okay. And don't say nothing. Let it go. She was popping off, though. Let it go, though. See it popping off. Now we know. You learn, You just learned something about it because you, you was the mother for trying to be nice. But then I tell you, me and her is going to fall I out. I knew that was going to happen. It's bound to happen because me and her are going to fall out. My biggest thing is respect. That's me. I set high standards for myself. So if I feel like I want respect, I'm going to demand a high amount of respect. It's definitely on between me and Amy. Now that she disrespected me, it's definitely on. You were out last night, and I got so drunk. And then when I get home, I was just in the toilet, like, puking, puking, puking. And then one of my roommates gonna try to uh, snap on Lily, and Lily had to snap on that bitch. And I was so drunk, I couldn't even open my mouth, because she gonna say, y'all being loud. Lily was like, bitch, don't you see that she's sick? <laughs> Me and my roommate gonna end up getting into it. I'm gonna have to snap on her and put her in her place, because she got a little smart-ass mouth. I'm not some, you know, mean, cruel person. I'm really not. But, you know, if you bring it out of me, it's definitely there and it's definitely real and it's not fake at all. It scares me sometimes because I often wonder how far will I go one day? You're a miracle because look what you've been through, girl. I know, but it just feels like everything that I've been through is starting to catch up with me. This is making me more and more bitter and more and more frustrated with life. So do you shut up about it? Well, what the f Don't what talk and you're not around that? me, dude. I'll spit right in your face, blood on everything. Don't you gotta live me for three don't, months, don't, dog. But who do you think you are? You gonna tell me what to do? I'm not yeah. telling you what to do. Yeah. It's a simple yeah. fact. It's common sense, dog. And I said I'm not carrying it. It's common sense. I it's said courtesy, bitch. It's courtesy, dog. I said I didn't feel like carrying it. I said I didn't feel like it. I don't give a f Don't get smart with me, dog. Get the f let's go. We understand, dude. Dude, Tell what the f Don't push me. What? Bitch. Dude, I ain't scared of you. Bitch, you got me scared. You the one didn't touch me, bitch. Cause you a punk. What the? F you no, put your hands no, on me, no, bitch. But let's go up bitch. those steps. Ty. Shit, bitch, you got three months with me. And you live in the same room with me. Remember that. And I'm not scared. So you gonna because respect me, bitch? You gonna try to diss slip? me in front of my mother? Okay. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home cause I'm gonna punch that bitch in her face. Do dude. it. You want to hit me? Get it over with. I will say whatever I got. I already did, dude. We on top of the hill now. Now we ain't on no Look, stairs. I'm not yeah, back yeah, in Now we ain't on three months with me, dude. Three months with me. Three months with me, blood. You don't scare me. You bitch. Oh. Oh. Going home, God, blood. God, why you do that, man? Not about oh, no, no, you by not about to tell. I told you to stop and you weren't listening. I hit her first and I spit on her first. What difference do I make? I'm going home. Where I'm from, nobody really had anything. So, you know, your respect and your pride is all you have. And I feel like she tried to shoot my pride down by challenging me. I'm not really regretful that I kicked her ass because, you know, I hold my own and I bet you she'll respect me now. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's how I've always been. And I told her to leave me alone. She kept on popping off. Well, I'd rather go out like G and have my that respect. Ain't no G, though, don't man. matter, man. Who is she? It don't matter. Respect is respect, dog. And that's oh, all. You I know what the respect was? I snapped, man. I blacked out, man. As soon as that bitch spit back, I just blacked out. But what out. was you expecting for her to do? Sit there and take it. 
I done been homeless on the street, not a rag to wash my ass with. This is nothing. I know, I know, I know. This ain't the last y'all gonna hear from me for. Mmm. 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 Bye, baby. We love you, baby. Bye. Bye. I'm definitely disappointed in myself just for the simple fact that I had plans for myself. I've been doing this all my life, man. I'm too old to be fighting, but it's just hard for me to walk away, even though I know it's not good. And maybe I didn't go about it the right way, but hey, that's me. That's that's why I'm a bad girl, because, you know, sometimes I don't do things the right way.